And hello, my brave knights, princesses, and princesses, and welcome back to the crazy world of Maze. I should probably make a playlist for this because I'm playing to beat the game. Last left off, we had we gained Vlad, our sidekick. And yes, this game does stutter a little bit. Not just on my computer, but other people have had lag issues as well, I've been told. So... Good to know that I'm not the only one. Need a valve handle, I think. So yeah, I really like this game, and I really like the fact that Harshly is still playing this. It's a really impressive game. It's, wait, wait, what's this? This is just a submarine axis. Okay. This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you continue to carry it anyway, just in case. Fascinating. Also, I have 21 out of 75, in case you guys want to know. My head's covering the 75 number, but I'm sure you can forget that. We have a small key. It's a shame you didn't have small hands as handling this key would be much easier. It looks like a key for a toolbox lock, which could be useful if you can manage to find the fine motor skills needed to operate such a small instrument. Hiya, Ted. Just, have, just for your information, that's what I thought why I sense for, for anyone else wants to know. I brought the acetylene gas tank up to the farm for the annual staff barbecue. Completely corn free, of course. Haha, -ha, Bob. Bob, how many times do I have to tell you? I mean, how many times have I told you that we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back for days behind schedule and stop joyriding with the tractor. Dummy, cordially, Ted. At least Ted's polite, alright? You decided to pick this up because you like the direction of the grain and the wood and what it gives and that gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable anger. Anger. Angle. Yes, pallets will do that. Apparently. Stop American garbage. The door just closed. An instruction manual for building your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model. The manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose your own adventure novel. Well, that must mean that they will die every time. A box cutter and a hammer. For some reason, you feel the urge to break something beautiful with this instead of doing the standard task of hammering a nail. You don't know why you think these things. I don't either. The cheapest box cutter commercially available, this brand holds the distinction of being the only one that is re-endered completely useless after one just swipe. Amazing. Hiya Ted. Since this is highly this is a highly sensitive area, I added a new security door. No need to thank me. Can't be too careful. Bob. Bob. Do you realize that your new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside this very secure area? Stop being cheap and get a door that works. Moron. Cordially, Ted. Ok. 
Created by Pete's Games and Carnival, the design of the loading crane appears to be based off a sim simple claw game, a fact which excited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the approval form, and it has a little Y on it. Why? Great. Water. Blood is favorite. Hey, Ted. I upgraded the lifting system so two people could use it at once. Our efficiency will nearly double, Bob. Bob, know that I do not say this lightly, but this is, may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had, idiot. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Or, or, hey, Ted. Need this box of knickknacks loaded. Be a pal and move it for me, would you, Bob? Bob, you sloth. I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself. Fortunately, Ted. It's this with Faberge eggs. Or Fab beers. So much garbage, idiot. Bloody does not understand. Me neither. But I'm doing it anyway. I don't know how to pronounce it Faberge, Faberge. You guys figure it out. I just pronounce it wherever. Bob, for the last time, stop leaving your junk everywhere. I don't know why you even have a cello case. You don't even own a cello, cello, cello. Dummy, culturally Ted. Some people say cello, some people say cello. I don't know. Okay. It's priceless. We smash the priceless egg with ha hammer for some reason. Inside is a process priceless lockpick. Easily the most expensive lockpick in the entire world, but you don't really care because you have no idea how modern economics work. Perfect. Use the most expensive lockpick in history to unlock cello case. Vladdy won't say this, but he probably could crawl through the vent and lock the door. For reasons known only to you, you are holding a very radioactive fuel rod in your hands, ignoring every known safety pro procedure for proper containment and storage, manage and st storage imaginable. Boy. Stupid idiot, making Vladdy crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid! Ah! Ah! Stupid wires everywhere! Why is this stupid? Oh! Ah! Ah! Why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense! How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy gets... Ah! Ah! Vladdy has to oh, uh, can't do this stuff. Ah, ah, boy, I so many. Hey, idiot! Did that work? Stop being stupid and say something. Fine, Vladdy done anyway. Two more Lushy drugs, stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. So, now what? Vlad did not like any part of that experience. Also, a new path is open to you. Probably, probably somewhat radioactive. Sweet. Bob P. McTavish Honorary Lobby. G. 
Jeez. Bob, you buffoon. Why is there a lobby here? And what happened to the decontamination room? Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Pretty sure I told you. Did a little rework here. I think this will be a really high traffic spot for the tour. Gotta be real a moneymaker. Gonna be a real moneymaker. Words fail me. <laughs> Idiot. Cordially, Ted. And stop it with the statues. <laughs> Cordially, Ted. Bob, I noticed this flyer and assumed this was your work. So I'll remind you, pools are not safe to hold chemical waste. Why did you order one? Stupid. Cordially, Ted. The flyer for Paul's pools and po pest removal advertises big savings for orders within a 20 mile radius of the shop, along with a free extermination of one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pen. Because Bob likes getting everything cheap, because he thinks getting cheap means, you know, he'll save more. Reactor control. A brochure for a company whose main goal is to fulfill all of your low to mid level lobby needs. On the back, one designed in particular circled in red pen, the cheapest one. The company tagline reads, Waiting never felt so good. Bob, I made this map so our staff can restart the bar again. Basement reactor. You ordered without blowing us all the kingdom come. Do me a favor and don't come anywhere near it. Moron, cordially Ted. Ted, Ted, I solved your maze. Took me a little while, but I got it in the end, Bob. <laughs> Bob, how are you this stupid? Did you get your doctorate out of a cereal box? Cordially Ted. I think Ted forged it. This is quite possibly the worst written book of guidelines in the history of time. None of the guidelines make sense, and the instructions and structural drawings all consist of a stick person running away from a large fire. At least has pictures. Try not to be an idiot in there. It would be very bad. Let me stay here, in case you do something stupid. Okay. I probably am going to do something stupid, because that's all this game is. Oh, I just started a uh, countdown to a nuclear explosion. Well done, me. I don't know where I'm going. I guess they weren't kidding when they said it was a maze. Ah. I know when I know my sense of direction is going to get me killed. Back to the and hit the button before you blow up. Okay. Because for some reason we have to do this, even though it's so stupid. <laughs> stupid, as I would say. Whew, 44 seconds. Probably on safe field rod installation procedure, and it's. Wow. That's it. Okay. Restart the worst nuclear reactor in the world. Cool.
don't know what that did, but I hope it did something. It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Perhaps if we turned around. Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is a perfectly nice place to stand. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Neither can I. You guys are idiots. Just saying. What is this stupid thing? Dunno, Vlad. Your guess is as good as mine. This rock has no idea whether it is a rock, a fess, a fesh symbol of a rock, an amalgamation of, of many rocks, or a non-rock. By picking it up, you have undone all of its conclusions about the world up to this un up until this point. You have named it Wallace. Hello, Wallace. We're going on adventures. Again with the crawling. Tanya Veselo. Oh, what is Vlade doing here? Is this Vlade's purpose? Crawling <clears throat> and climbing through stupid <clears throat> junk to get <clears throat> more stupid junk? <clears throat> and for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless. No use. No purpose. Just more garbage. Garbage for idiots. Always. <clears throat> Garbage. Hope this garbage worth Vladi suffering, but already know the answer. No, because it's garbage. <sighs> what stupid thing is next? I love you, Vlad. Vlad's really starting. Vladi's really starting hate pens. I'm pretty sure he is. So, this is what stupid thing does? Vladdy still think it garbage. The thing you did was important, probably. Vladdy think you may have problem, idiot. You take too much garbage. Broke off its door thanks to a shoddy sold, sh soldering job. Done immediately after the facility Christmas party, you could prob just probably find another door to fit on to, just not this one. Well, I know which one to fit it on. This way! If I could run, if I had, a, if I had wings, I would fly. Bob, how is a one-way pneumatic tube at all useful? What part of Order Elvers did you not understand? This stupid thing is an expensive, completely useless death trap. Twit. <laughs> Cordially, Ted. Oh. Looks like we need a ladder to get on that ladder. That does not sound good. Chitanya Vesilo. Why is this place so stupid? Nothing works. Idiot American machines. 
Well done, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. You should take that dumb PC if you can fix it. Breaking everything won't help you progress in case that wasn't clear. Oh, it's clear, all right. You need to figure out a way to repair this broken gear if you want to raise the giant hook to the sky. The fact that you know nothing about engineering, mechanical repairs, or finding things means that this will probably go very smoothly. Okay. So me not knowing how to fix something in the most fanciest way possible is a good thing? Okay. Why do they block off my way? So mean. Invoice for an order of military grade jumpsuits that a heavy, heavy mark down from the original costs all apparently have the name Mitchell. Embroidered across the breast and only came in size XXXXL. The word defective appears in a few a few times in a very small print. Great. Useless garbage everywhere. Man, whoever had did whoever ruled this place this really had Vladdy told you where he is from. Vladdy is from small box, very dark, then stupid idiot brought him out the box, and it was sad. Now we are here. Good to know. After an unexpected hit, the maligned author was forced to write a sequel. This time he saved everyone the trouble of reading the book altogether and viewed the killer on the back flap. Novel actually chronicles a detective's struggle to return a pair of defective pants. Wow. Bob, I don't care how good a deal you got. No more lobbies, idiot. Cordially, Ted. Oh, this was where that weird corn stalk was. Man, wine bottles everywhere. A stupid. A very slick looking proposal to rework the facility into a high and theme park and casino resort has lots of pleasing look graphs pointing upwards, so you know for sure that it's a good idea. Some double attractions include Fatland, the next casino, and Kitchen. As if Kitchen was entertaining. You mistakenly thought this was a blue marker, but you don't. Want to put it de back down lest you hurt its feelings. Instead, you will draw a face on something with it because you know it likes to do that. Bob, what is this? There's no way in any conceivable universe that we can turn this facility into a resort. Stop it, you dummy. Cordially, Ted. I don't think Bob is going to stop. He always has these ideas. He likes that just... Immediately excite him into wanting to give him a try, as it were. You were mistakenly trying to pick up something else, but now you're in possession of an entire water cooler. You are too stubborn to put it down, so you're going to find a use for it. Carrying it everywhere you go, you didn't even empty out the water. Amazing. Hi, 
Hiya, Ted. Since you're so worried about security, I did you a favor and beefed up the doors to your room. You're absolutely welcome, Bob. Bob, you jerk. I can't even get into my room because of these stupid discount security measures. Fix it. I'm sick of sleeping in the grotto. Cordially, Ted. Amazing. Look at all these cans. Seriously, who drinks this much? Cafeteria. Kitchen doors locked can be opened from the kitchen. You take so many useless things, idiot. Good to know. Bob, where's that idiot Fernando? Oh, there's Fernando hiding. I told him to refill the coffee trolley with rank a weeks ago. If you find him, put him to work and do some yourself, buffoon. Cordially, Ted. You think this particular plastic plant was perfect if not for the garnish pot it was attached to? You have an unnatural hatred for clay pots of every size, shape, and color. Interesting. Wonder why we do. Giving up on the corn's ability to be weaponized on any level, the scientists attempt to see if they could be of any use in the general workplace. They weren't, opting to take map naps instead. However, the corn did display a fondness for stacking orange boxes, which they did so every chance they could. The goal of which seemed to be directing the researchers to do what they wanted. Now this rock no now this is a rock that knows its place in the world. Unquestioning, unwavering, happy to be basking in its complete and utter rockiness. You've named it Shelby. Oh, cool. Oh hi guys. This is absolutely positively the sturdiest box you will ever find. Except for the one you see immediately after you pick up this one. You now have what is known as boxes remorse. Cool. So, Bob, what do you think of this? See what you have driven me to? Jerk. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. This is great. Really excited to see you get into the spirit of things. Add one of mine so we could be side by side. Really think it balances the space well, Bob. Oh, um, excuse me. So he made himself bigger. Seriously, who drinks this many cans? Oh, so these are the living quarters. Bob thought these bought these to help maintain the large number of plants that decorated the facility. The small fact that they were all plastic and didn't need any maintenance didn't determine the least. At least he did something. Bob's journal. Written entirely in red pen, it isn't so much a journal as it is a mindscape with occasional pictures, massive, ambitious. Plans are written down in abandoned midway through inception, sometimes mid-sentence. So Bob wasn't really good at thinking things through, huh? Bob mistakenly thought that capuchin was another word for delicacy and ordered thousands of boxes to snack on. When he was told that snacks were, in fact, for monkeys, he ate them anyway. That's disgusting. It's a small navigational chart of the Pacific Ocean, with a very peculiar course plotted from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course has more in common with the movement of a small fly than any nautical vessel. It apparently 
it it's apparently part of Operation Subaquanium Evadere, but owing to your poor understanding of all language, you mistakenly think it's a chain restaurant specialized in Italian cuisine. And our little friend writes fine. Ted writes fine. He's like, fine, we'll do this. Two gold toilets and a shower. He doesn't really need this, but he has it anyway. Bought in bulk and commissioned in a variety of materials, Bob seems to have ordered more statues than can possibly fit inside the facility due to this a statue storage fee is also included. He did indeed get a discount, but the cost is so outlandish in the first place that the missing zeros are barely noticeable. Two thousand nine hundred no two 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 trillion nine hundred and five million ninety nine thousand that's a lot of money. Wow. Bob you're an idiot. <laughs> Looks like I need to find a ball of sorts, but I don't know where one is. Bob, you stupid dummy, why you commissioned that artist to make these maps is beyond me. They are unreadable. Everyone is getting lost down here, cordially, Ted. Amazing. Glad you're taking forever to reach me, you know that, right? <laughs> I don't think he cares. He's taking everything at his own pace. <laughs> Assistant's office. Hiya, Fernando. Could you be a pal and place the four 
No, the tour brochures across the facility. There are only a few hundreds, so you'll be able to do that in no time flat, Bob. Fernando, you... Fernando, ignore that idiot Bob's request that what you really need to do is sort the samples in the genetic slab from least reactive to most, so go do it. Cordially, Ted. Hey, Fernando, got a more important job for you that than that. Leave the statue directly above you moved about an inch or so. Scaffolding holdings already set up, so you'll finish in about an hour or so. Thanks. Fernando, you lazy oaf, don't touch that statue. We don't need yet another insurance claim. Instead, go to the second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behavior in their in, in their habitat for several days, cordially Ted. And don't move a mass mass muscle. That'll throw the data off, cordially Ted. Hi, Fernando, don't worry about that observation stuff. The corn will take their own notes. We only need you to hang about a few dozen new paintings that just came in. Be a pal and set that up, would you please? Thanks, Bob. Fernando, you twit. Don't lift a finger for those paintings. Instead, use this pen. Draft a letter for me. Dear Bob, you're an, what, an idiot. Cordially dead. Cordially dead. A peculiar book on how to be an assistant in a workplace whose end appears to be to do as little work as possible. Chapters include how to shred everything, enter into hiding in the office, and shifting blame to the intern. Interesting. Appears to be the only thing Fernando the founder's assistant put any effort into, aside from shredding important documents and wearing f fancy fedoras and gloves, is a very poor plan involving jumper cables, a strange lightning rod, and somehow turning into a all-powerful deity. Notes read that the stupid Corrin told me their secret, and Bob and Ted will be my assistants now. So he was the one that electrified himself and became... something. Probably that thing that we saw that messed around with, um... The... Board, the, um, boards. Just coffee trolleys off coffee. Medicine ball. You could have taken a much lighter ball for this particular test, but that would require a grasp of logic that you don't already have. Amazing. This game is amazing. By freeing this plastic plant from its potted prison, you've managed to trigger a dramatic series of events that led you to obtain a trimmed plastic plant. These events included reaching out to grab the trimmed plastic plant, picking up the trimmed plastic plant with your right hand, and wondering why you did all this in the first place. Worst face in the world appears you took drawing lessons from a leather couch. Somehow your artistic skills have become worse than the short time between this effort and your Sketcher 3000 drawing. You try to determine if the face you draw, you've drawn is happy, angry, or ask yourself why it's brought, it was brought into being to suffer such horrible torment. <laughs> you eventually settle on smiling. Because that's the happier thing to do. Amazing. So that does not sound good. Aha! I finally found you. You've fallen into my clutches, just like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. But no matter. Now, your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will Stupid break! Stupid plant, why is your face like that? But... what is that? Your stupid face is very bad. Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <gasps> Shut up, you mean... furry stupid! How dare you! I am the pinnacle of my race! You will pay for this insult, let me just... Ow! Uh, what's stop, up, boy? Stop or get some new chicken, you lazy law! Chief! If biting is cheating, I win by default. Ha 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 ha! Your plans have been foiled by 
My plan, which are better than yours, you dummy! Ha! <laughs> and I am most certainly not retreating. <laughs> you know, this place is filled with idiots. So, that happened. Written entirely in blue pen in perfectly sized paragraphs, this is the most depressing diary known to man. Highlights include many thoughts on optimal sh sock organization, regrets on his partnership with Bob, and sent us his own project and experimental AI program couldn't get funded. A lab report outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough test subject, the framed female Ruby Queen corn, much more concerning than the last one. As it uses phrases like can't be controlled, the corn follower, and much too British. Recommends sequestering pro uh, subject as soon as possible until further notice. An old newspaper clipping that shows a very young Bob and Ted winning a science award for an artificial intelligence prototype. Judging by their demeanor, their partnership hasn't changed much since then. The article notably praises the display, slick presentation, spearheaded by Bob, and completely ignores the science -y Parts which Ted did on his own. Poor Ted. I actually feel kind of sorry for him. This is a this is a candle holder carving of Dave, the legendary unicorn brought to life by a hung over demigod. This magical creature possesses near infinite foresight and a complete lack of spatial awareness. It fell to its death immediately after it was created. What a tragedy. A cheap knockoff of a well-known decaf brand, coffee brand. Ranga is unique in that it doesn't taste like coffee whatsoever. Instead, the makers went for the taste and texture of an old boot. It's the only thing that the <laughs> coffee trolley delivers. Amazing. I clearly remember a coffee machine, but my memory is kind of like, okay, where was it? Because I've been randomly stumbled. Oh, told ya, found it. Randomly stumbling upon it. It's amazing. Oh, look, he drew, um. Ted looks like a corn stalk. Bob just looks like a, uh. Eggman. It worked. An autobiographical play about the story of an albino corn stalk's quest to destroy something called flesh bags. The story has several continuity problems, and the choreography makes no absolutely no sense unless the dancers gain the ability to transform into a quantum state and teleport from one motion to the other. Truly, that does sound kind of absurd. Oh look, I found a step ladder. You vaguely remember a ladder you spotted earlier in West Hook 2 that you could access with the help of this stepladder. 
You know that your observation happened either a few moments ago or several centuries ago, because you have no, you have little to no concept of linear time. That's encouraging. Maybe it was the smell, maybe it was the way the light caught the plastic, but something about this particular garbage-filled bag caught your eye and never let it get let go. You will carry it with you always. I'm... I'd have lost forwards. You figured this glue may come in use at some point once you finally manage to unstick your head from your shoulders. Bob, I don't care how much you love this third-rate popcorn stuff framing ads and hanging them here. It's stupid. Cordially, Ted. Collecting all of this garbage will not make you less stupid, idiot. Vladdy fixed the door on level one. Bob was so enamored with this popcorn brand and his mascot that he framed a picture of his favorite advertisements and placed them over the facility. They were removed immediately by staff. Hi, Ted. Just to let you know I spilled soda on some of your things and put them in here to dry out. Nothing serious, just some old moldy photos and papers in your important pile. Sorry, Bob. Bob, I hate you so much. Cordially, Ted. Why does Bloody have to fixing everything? When is it idiot's turn? I've been fixing a lot of, doing a lot of things, Vlad. The thank you very much. Vladdy not even sure what to fix. Is Vladdy supposed to hit stoop stupid American garbage built by idiots? Truly. Apparently we're idiots. And with that, we'll be back, guys. Leave a like and subscribe because there's always room for more, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.